Hey guys, welcome back to Downtown Crown Wine and Beer Feature of the Week. I'm Rosh, this is Dave. We're joined here with uh, Jason from Oliver Brewing Company out of Baltimore. We have an event with them this Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. to celebrate Oliver's um, Montgomery County self-distribution launch. Uh, Jason, you want to tell us a little bit about your brewery? Yeah, yeah, we're, uh, we're excited to, uh, we just opened a brand new facility uh, in Baltimore, a 20 barrel American uh, brewing system. But a little history on us, we've uh, been around for over 22 years, uh, celebrating one of Baltimore's longest continuing running breweries. Um, we, we bring uh, classic traditional style ales and um, really thankful that Downtown Crown is going to feature us. Uh, and David uh, hooked up a great lineup for us. And, um, yeah, we have what, eight kegs for eight, Friday? Eight kegs, uh, one nitro, um, got some real ale that we're going to throw on, uh, on the bar and uh, tap that bad boy five o'clock. So a cool thing about uh, the self-distribution aspect for these guys is that uh, you know on Friday you guys will see like we have kegs that are ultra ultra fresh. They're, they're direct, you know, they're brewed, kegged up, and brought brought down to us right right from the brewery. Doesn't have to go uh, through DLC. Yep. Yeah. So better price, fresher beer. Uh, these guys have some really really cool stuff. Uh, now I guess on the on the larger capacity brewing system, you have the ability to do more things. Yeah, we. Uh, we can definitely venture out now, a uh, seven barrel brewing system uh, in a basement for 22 years, uh, especially in a busy pub. They were, uh, Baltimore's been drinking this beer for a while. Um, now, 20 barrels at a time, there's a, definitely a lot more uh, capacity to uh, give the beer to the rest of Maryland and DC. What are uh, what are some of the highlights of this tapping we're gonna do Friday? What are, what's your favorite? What's like the cool thing coming out Friday? You know, uh, we're, we're definitely uh, aiming for a nitro market find that uh, nitro beers and pub ales uh, you can't take home so you know we're, we're working on that development to uh, offer good pub style ales and uh, nitro cans that you know the public can enjoy. Uh, Those are coming soon right? Coming soon. Um, they have they're coming soon and they have absolutely amazing artwork on them. Yep. It's just this cherry blossom ale you said that you guys are going to can it and you're going to have a nitro can as well? Yeah, so uh, nitro can this year on um, Cherry Blossom will be tough. Uh, we spent a lot of time creating these beautiful packages to release, uh, of course, by our Cherry Blossom Festival. Uh, you know, DMV definitely uh, knows all about these beautiful flowers and now they're going to know about our good beer. Uh, a little bit of history with us and the Cherry Blossom Ale. Uh, believe it or not, it is one of the fastest kicking kegs we've ever had at this store. Yep. Uh, one Saturday night we had live music and the whole bar was drinking cherry blossom ale uh, because it was absolutely delicious. So we're going to have that same ale and the nitro version of it. And I've seen pictures of the nitro pour. I mean, just this, this gorgeous pinkish hue. I can only imagine how smooth and creamy and tasty it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to taste today? What, what do you got? You know, uh, this past Friday, we, uh, we took um, uh, something that we thought of. Um, Maryland hasn't designed it, hasn't released anything like this before, but we were able to nitro a can of beer. So this is our Coventry Ale. No widget. No widget. 6%. Nice. Pop one for both guys here. Right, yeah. So when you do pour a nitro can, like, you know, explain to them why we have to pour it like that. Just so this is a hard pour. We use, uh, you know, our secret recipe to make this beer work this way. But, oops, I'm making a mess. We're still practicing it. But what you have here is a uh, pure pub ale, 6%. It's our ESP. Cheers. Cheers. The perfect temperature, too. Wow, that's really tasty. That's actually delicious. Uh, what's ABV on this? This is 6%. Uh, it's really good. It's nice. You get that nice, creamy. Um, Creamy head on the beer, nice creamy blown up flavor that uh, the nitro pour offers, um, but still holding flavor and a good good uh, finish on the beer. So to reiterate, we have an event with them this Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. We're going to have an awesome tap list from them, fresh, straight from the brewery, yep. uh, cherry blossom nitro, which I cannot wait to, wait to try. So uh, see you guys then. Thank you. Come out and support. Thank you.